Be fearless. Most people run from what they're afraid of. I run towards it. That doesn't mean I think I'm bulletproof. I've learned the hard way that I'm not, or that I'm unaware of danger. I experience fear as much as the next man. But one of the greatest mistakes people can make is becoming comfortable with their fears. Whatever's worrying me, I meet it head on and engage it until the situation is resolved. My refusal to become comfortable with fear gives me an advantage in almost every situation. Cultivate the heart of a hustler. Hustling might be associated with selling drugs, but it's also a character trait that's shared by winners in every profession. Steve Jobs was as much of a hustler at Apple as I was on the streets. The key to building up that trait in your own personality is accepting that you're never hustling towards a certain goal. Hustling is a motor that's got to be running inside of you each and every day, and it's fuel is passion. If you can keep that motor running, it will take you everywhere you want to go in life. Build a strong crew. You're only going to be as strong as the weakest person in your crew. That's why you have to be extremely conscious of who you have around you. Betrayal is never as far away as you'd like to believe. That's why it's imperative to find a balance between establishing trust and discipline in the people you work with and giving them the freedom to be themselves. If you can establish that equilibrium, you'll be in a position to get the very best out of your team. Know your value. One of the cornerstones of my sustained success is that I don't rush into deals. Even though I've become synonymous with getting paid, I never chase money. I evaluate every new venture based on its long-term potential, not on what the first check I get is going to look like. The reason I do that is I have supreme confidence in my own value and ability. I'm secure that as long as I'm betting on myself, I'm always going to win. Evolve or die. If I've been unwilling or unable to evolve as an individual, I'd be dead or in jail right now. One of the keys to my success is that at every stage of my life, I've been willing to assess any new situation I find myself in and make the necessary adjustments. 